Maggots from meat, quoted John, weevils from rye, dragons from stars in an empty sky. Imagination is what has driven human progress since very early times. God has judged me all my life. But that is God's privilege, my lady. Not yours. We are like the whales that live in the sea, he said, civilizations without artifacts, living between stone and sky in our islands in the northern oceans. The room was a magpie nest of picked at knowledge the lair of a tinkerer to whom the universe was one vast toy shop of intriguing side issues. She felt angry enough to curse them, but in her heart she knew that she could lay no greater curse upon them than to be what they already were. What is merely a hypothesis to anyone else is an overwhelming temptation to a wizard. The question is always the answer, provided you want the answer badly enough. If any town in Europe would have vampires, he knew it would be Prague. As Cinderella would probably tell you, even a prince who only recognizes your footwear is preferable to a lifetime of cleaning grates. To the pure, all things are pure, Antrig remarked, in Magister Magus' best soothsayer voice, and to the unimaginative, all things are devilish. She had come to terms with her lack of beauty, but never with her lack of genius in the single thing she had ever wanted. After long years of solitary meditation, Jenny had come to accept that for her, magic was a depth and a stillness rather than the moving brilliance that it was for the great. She understood that even the worst days contained only 24 hours. One did what one had to do to get through them, and afterwards, one slept. One shouldn't allow oneself to be intimidated by something that can be picked up and tucked under one's arm. You yourself must know how boring gravity is to oneself and everyone else. There is no temptation from outside the heart. The dead always find ways, Isidro said, to get the living to serve them. It is a terrible mistake to put the rifles of tomorrow into the hands of the ignorance of yesterday. The key to magic is magic, Cairdon had said. To be a mage, you must be a mage. There is no time for anything else, 
if you will come to the fullness of your power. However, her own lack of power had taught her a curious appreciation for small joys and hard beauties and for the simple, changeless patterns of life and death. 